Hi everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be listening to a discussion between various people. This is a great way to improve your English skills in several ways. Listening comprehension, by listening to a natural conversation, you can get a feel for how native speakers use English in everyday life. You'll also learn to pick up on the subtle nuances of pronunciation and grammar. Vocabulary. As you listen, you'll hear new words and phrases related to the topic of the video. You can then add these words to your vocabulary list and practice using them in your own conversations. Idioms. English is full of idioms, which are phrases that have a figurative meaning. By listening to a conversation, you can learn to recognize and understand idioms. Grammar. As you listen, you can also pay attention to the grammar being used. This will help you to improve your understanding of how grammar is used in a natural context. In addition to listening to the conversation, you'll also have the opportunity to practice your speaking skills. After the conversation, the subtitles will be replayed without the audio. This will give you a chance to repeat the dialogue and practice your pronunciation. So if you're looking for a fun and effective way to improve your English skills, be sure to check out this video. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. I was just looking at our family tree and thinking about our ancestry. That's interesting. It's amazing to think about our lineage and all our descendants. Indeed. And it's not just about blood relations. Our family connections include our in-laws and godparents too. True. And let's not forget about our step-family and those who we've adopted into our family. Absolutely. Our kinship ties are strong. Even though we've got a houseful, it's our domestic bliss. Yes, and even though there's some sibling rivalry, and we've had our share of family feuds, at the end of the day, blood is thicker than water. That's right. And despite the generation gap, we all come together for festive gatherings like wedding anniversaries and baby showers. Indeed. And even when someone's laid up, or has been in the wars a bit, we rally around them. Yes, like when dad was at his wit's end dealing with all the problems. We all stepped in to help because he had a lot on his plate. Absolutely. And even though every family has their skeletons in the closet, we've learned to deal with our issues and not become estranged. That's true. And we honor our ancestors and remember our line of descent. Our ancestral home is filled with family heirlooms that remind us of our history. Yes, and we also respect the roles of the patriarch or matriarch in our family. And we acknowledge the challenges of being a single parent or the guardian of twins or triplets. Absolutely. Our family is a mix of nuclear and extended family members, and we value both our maternal and paternal sides equally. That's beautifully said. Our family is indeed special. And speaking of progeny, it's amazing to see how each generation brings something new to the family. 
Each child, each new member adds to our rich tapestry. That's so true. And even when we face family strife, it's those very connections that help us navigate through the tough times. Our kinship is our strength. Indeed. And it's not just about the present. Our ancestors have left us a legacy that we carry forward. Our line of descent is a testament to their resilience and love. Absolutely. And it's up to us to pass on that legacy to our progeny. To ensure that the ties that bind us remain strong and unbroken. Yes, and part of that is acknowledging and dealing with the skeletons in the closet. Every family has them, and it's how we deal with them that defines us. True. And it's important to remember that no matter what, at the end of the day, blood is thicker than water. Our family is always there for us. That's right. And it's during those festive gatherings that we really feel that sense of belonging. Be it a baptism, a wedding anniversary, or a baby shower, these events bring us closer. Indeed. And even when there's a family feud, or when someone becomes estranged, we strive to bring them back into the fold. Because that's what family does. Absolutely. And when it comes to inheritance, it's not just about material possessions. It's about inheriting values, traditions, and memories. So true. And as we add branches to our family tree, we ensure that those values and traditions continue to thrive in the younger generation. Yes, and that's the beauty of family. It's a circle of love and life that keeps going. And no matter where we go, we always carry a piece of our family with us. Beautifully said. Here's to family, the compass that guides us, and the inspiration to reach great heights. And speaking of progeny, it's amazing to see how each generation brings something new to the family. Each child, each new member adds to our rich tapestry. That's so true. And even when we face family strife, it's those very connections that help us navigate through the tough times. Our kinship is our strength. Speaking of inheritance, it's not just about the material possessions we pass down. It's also about the values, the traditions, and the love that we inherit from our family. That's so true. Our ancestors have left us a rich legacy that goes beyond physical assets. It's a legacy of resilience, of courage, and of love. Indeed. And it's our responsibility to carry that legacy forward. To ensure that our progeny understands the value of family and the strength of our kinship. Absolutely. And it's during our festive gatherings that we really get to celebrate our family and our shared history. Be it a wedding anniversary, a baptism, or a baby shower, these events bring us closer together. Yes. And even when we face family strife, it's those very connections that help us navigate through the tough times. Our family connections are our strength. True. And it's important to remember that no matter what, at the end of the day, blood is thicker than water. Our family is always there for us. That's right. And it's not just about the present. Our ancestors have left us a legacy that we carry forward. Our line of descent is a testament to their resilience and love. Absolutely. And it's up to us to pass on that legacy to our progeny. To ensure that the ties that bind us remain strong and unbroken. Yes, and part of that is acknowledging and dealing with the skeletons in the closet. 
Every family has them, and it's how we deal with them that defines us. True. And it's during those times of trouble that we often find we've got a houseful. Because in times of need, you can always count on your family to be there. Absolutely. And when it comes to inheritance, it's not just about material possessions. It's about inheriting values, traditions, and memories. So true. And as we add branches to our family tree, we ensure that those values and traditions continue to thrive in the younger generation. Yes, and that's the beauty of family. It's a circle of love and life that keeps going. And no matter where we go, we always carry a piece of our family with us. Beautifully said. Here's to family, the compass that guides us, and the inspiration to reach great heights. Indeed. And even when someone's laid up or has been in the wars a bit, we rally around them. We take care of each other. That's so true. And even when someone is at their wit's end, like my poor dad last week, we step in to help. Because that's what family does. Absolutely. Family is not just an important thing, it's everything. The dialogue is now over. You can stop here, or if you want, you can move on to oral practice. In the next part of the video, you'll see the same dialogue again, without sound, so you can practice repeating. Good luck!